everyone, it's Pocket. Breaking news, I sold my doll. And um, so now I thought I'd make a video telling you about my reasons for selling her. I actually just dropped her off at the post office, so she's officially off the face of my dolly world, um, permanently. And yeah, so I thought now's the time to make a video telling you why I decided to sell her. Now the doll that I'm talking about is actually my Apple House EID Karina. Over the past couple of weeks I was feeling increasingly unhappy with my doll family, even though, you know, they were all complete and they were all part of one story. I couldn't put my finger on it at first because, famous last words, I thought that I would never ever sell a doll or have to sell a doll for any reason I could think of, you know. So, um, I was thinking about it a little more and then I realized that I was doing quite a lot with every single one of my dolls except for the EID Karina which was um, uh, my character Loon and yeah so I didn't really know what to do at first and then I just thought thought about it for a while and I came to the conclusion that the sculpt even though it is very very beautiful is not that fitting for the character as I thought it would be. I ordered the Apple House Karina I was actually between two Apple House sculpts for the character and I thought either of them would work and I decided on the Apple House Karina and when she came I was absolutely blown away by the sculpt's beauty and I love the Apple House Karina sculpts but apart from that she wasn't giving me enough enough depth that I needed for that character somehow it wasn't it wasn't working out that well and even though she had become complete over a period of time and it took me quite a while until she had her outfit and her wig and her eyes and everything even though she had become completed in that character, she still did not really become the character, if you get my drift. It was also that the Apple House body just frustrated me um, so much, you know. Especially when I got my Feeble 65 Chloe, I saw how easy it could be when you had a doll that just, you know, looked wonderful, beautiful, and also worked as a doll and its posing and everything, you know. And this harmony, this harmony of beauty and good engineering, you know, good posability, which is something I need for my photo stories, that was just so, that was just so, so much of a relief to me. And the Apple House Karina, in her posing, had been nothing but frustrating for me. So that was, that was the other big, 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 big problem I had with her. I just had a problem with the body. It wasn't, it wasn't working for me. So I debated with myself back and forth, should I really sell this doll? I mean, she's so beautiful, I paid money for her, I mean, I waited quite a while for her to arrive, and now I've completed her, and now should I really let her go? And then I, <clears throat> I revised um, my entire doll plan, um, actually, or well, my plan for new dolls that I want to get, and I realized, well, I came to the conclusion, that my direction now is going to be absolutely and exclusively Fireland dolls. Be why? Because I'm in love with um, a lot of their sculpts and I'm in love with their posing. I'm in love with the simplicity um, that comes with owning a Fairyland doll and I want more of the Fairyland magic. And I kind of, you know, while I was processing this, I realized also that through selling the Apple House girl, I could actually make room and funds um, to purchase, to, to reinvest in a Fairyland doll that would give me more and, with, with that, and a doll that I could be happy with. And that was kind of the breaking point, you know, where I thought, alright, let's do it, I have to sell this doll, she's not giving me enough, I have to let her go. I love the sculpt, I love the Apple House Karina, but this bond, and that's what I realized also afterwards, the bond I had with the Apple House Karina was very, very on the surface, very much on the surface, you know. I love the sculpt, but I didn't bond through the sculpt, I didn't bond with the character. So I, so I basically, you know, realized that I was breathing life, breathing the wrong kind of life into this, into this sculpt, and the sculpt was kind of not taking it on, you know. And that's basically it. That was, uh, that, those are basically my reasons for selling um, my Apple House Karina. She didn't work out with, this, with the character I wanted her to be, and the body was frustrating me beyond belief. But that's okay. I'm sure she will um, be very happy to be with someone in the future that will love her very much and will do a lot more with her than I have done, hopefully. So yeah, I'm really happy that that has happened the way it has. I was actually expecting to be um, a little bit sad, you know, and 
a little bit more reflective, you know, and thinking about what I could have done with her and could have maybe, you know, made it work in the end. But I'm actually really, really happy right now that she's gone off to a new home and that I've got room to, um, to reinvest my doll funds into a new doll family member, which is going to happen pretty soon, I can tell you that much. Now I feel like I've also begun to understand other people who frequently sell their dolls um, to buy new ones because I now know the feeling um, of when you have a doll and she's just not working or he or she's not just not working for you and it's a really really bad feeling it's it's like it's almost gut-wrenching you know it's kind of it's inside of you somewhere and it won't stop nagging you and it kind of pulls you down on an everyday basis and you don't know why and then you know it's it's because of this of the doll you know and <sighs> I can kind of understand that now so I feel with all of you <laughs> I have now gone through the same experience and I'm very very grateful for this experience. But that is it for this Dolly video. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it a little bit. I hope you guys um, could get a little more of understanding of what has been going through my head uh, during the last couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm glad that's over and I look forward to more fresh new Dolly videos and more Dolly stuff to share with you guys. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Have a happy Dolly day. Bye!